Okay, uh, so first on the list are the Mishima electrics. That's not an electric. This is an electric. So basically 11 frame high punisher with, with major pushback on block. So it's plus five on block, which is really good, can't be punished. And it's, it's a really good move. If you are consistent with electric, it's a really good move throughout. The only weakness of electrics are it's a high, which means that it can be ducked. So if you duck a high, in most cases, if you duck a high and do a while standing punisher or while standing launcher, it can be easily punished or launched with the appropriate characters that have the means to punish him. I mean, everyone has a means to punish uh, a move that can be ducked. For example, while standing four, as an example. Yes. Okay, so next we have Jin Kazama's forward 4, which is a really good move, uh, mostly used by all Jin players throughout the world, everywhere around the world. Really good move. Uh, so forward 4 looks like this, and on, oops, and on counter hit, natural launcher, which is a really good move. So the pro, so pros of forward 4 is it's a counter hit launcher. It's a long range move, and also it's really good to check the opponent. So if you really want to check the opponent, like for example, if the opponent is continuously pressing buttons and stuff, you can just throw this move out because it's a really good move because it has a really good range. As you guys can see, really good range, really good to check the opponent. Um, good mix up potential as well. So if it if it's blocked, it's safe because it's minus eight on block and it's safe on block. And um, yeah, it's also good to approach opponents from longer ranges and really good. The cons of four four is that it's very linear, which means it can be sidestepped in most cases, and it needs execution to make it safe sometimes because if you if you press forward 4 and you go into a stand this is not safe it can be punished in order for you to uh, make it safe you'll have to cancel out the stances which i'm not a mishima player so i wouldn't mostly know how to cancel out stances but as far as i've seen from other players playing jin we, we press forward 4 and go into the stance or it's called a zen stance i think uh you need to cancel out the stance to make it safe otherwise it's not safe yep and that's it for jin's forward 4. Alright, now we have Claudio. So what makes Claudio stand out or what is Claudio's really um, trademark move if you like to call it. So basically it's his running su running 2 which is called the Superman Punch uh, universally or by most of the pro players. So really good move. Uh, if, you, if you do the move point blank, it's really good. It's, re it's a really good pressure tool. So the pros of uh, Superman Punch is that, as I said, it's a pressure tool, it's a ma major plus on block, so like it's plus 7 on block, which is really good to use for mix-ups and stuff like that, and the cons of Superman Punch is that it's, the execution for instant running too, it requires a lot of practice, but if you get it on point, it's really consistent, but that's the only con of it, and can be ducked because it's a high, so keep in mind, Superman Punch is a high which can be ducked, same as electrics, but you can see when Superman Punch comes out, Electric is great. I think it's a bit faster. Yeah, it's, it's majorly faster, but Superman Punch can be ducked and be punished by any Wild Rising moves or Wild Rising 4 in general. And also it has no consistent tracking on the right, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. But yeah, that's a cons of Superman Punch. But if you if you use it uh, in a mix-up potential, in a mix-up situation, it's really good. And another mention I'd like to mention about Hop, um, Claudio is that Another trademark of Claudio is that he's really good up for, for hop kick. Really good move, which is minus 13 and uh, which has a really good recovery along with some crushing properties as well. So keep in mind, hop kick also is a really good move. It's, it's one of the best hop kicks in the game, I believe. Okay, and that's it for Claudio. Alright, next on the list, uh, Dragon Elves Running 2, which is a very popularly used move by everyone. Every Dragon Elf player uses the move and it's one of his best moves and widely used move. What am I saying? It, it, it is his trademark basically. So Wild Running 2 looks like this. Really good move. Um, unblock, it's plus 6 which can be used to pressure a lot and the pros of Running 2 is that it's a pressure tool as I said, plus frames unblock and has a really good mix-up potential once it's been blocked because it's plus frames. And the cons is that it's very real, uh, it's very linear. 
can be sidestepped to the right and it's difficult to execute in terms of close range so if you're trying to do a uh, point blank while running two or uh, it's you gotta have a lot of practice it's, it's similar to like Claudio's running two uh, like a super bend punch so you need a lot of execution to do a wild running two if you want to do if you want to do an instant wild running two i don't know how many times i've said it but i've said it and another uh, i want to mention another move that is also very widely used by everyone and it's his downforce two really good move uh it's neutral on block which means it can it can be set up for different types of mix-ups on block it's minus 13 not the best move to be used on block but most of in most of the cases people will eat down for two you can chop their legs off with down for two trust me so it's good for pokes checks and neutral on hit which means it's good for mix-ups so yeah that's dragon up in a nutshell that's a lot of damage A lot of damage okay uh this character man um i don't know where to start with this character he has so many good moves so many good moves in his arsenal but here are some of the moves that are picked from his freaking overpowered sets of move list and it's his up for four orbital this orbital is basically minus three on block can you believe that it is freaking safe man it is safe so it's safe orbital and the cons is that the only cons is that in most cases if you're really good at sidestepping it can be sidestep other than that you gotta eat this on block or or go for his mix-up potentials another move another move that i want to mention from his uh various uh safe or overpowered move list is his down one plus two down one plus two is um overhead move but once it's uh, once on uh, counter hit it acts as a natural bond launcher plus and it's neutral on block it's not even minus it's neutral on block so it's a really safe mode to put it out there and the cons the only cons of down one plus two is that it can be sidestepped in the foreground i've tested this out if you're really consistent with sidestep as uh, as i've said in up forward four if it means orbital sidestep is key when playing with leroy in most cases so sidestep down one plus two and it can be it can it, it whiffs and you can punish it but if that's it that is only if you're really good at it but apart from that nerf leroy or get leroy out of the game that's all i gotta say okay next on the list we have this shitty character that no one cares about and wish that she never existed in the game chucky chucky that's her name so basically what makes chucky chucky uh in this list to co come in this list is her one plus two move as you can see it has no range but when it's hit it's a really good move on hit um if it's blocked it's plus seven it's plus seven on block which gives you major plus frames and can be and you can do a lot of mix-ups from there so basically one of the pros of chucky chucky is one plus two is that it's plus on hit, can be used for mix-ups, and it's also, believe it or not, a freaking wall bounce, right? That's what we need. And the cons of the move is, it can be sidestepped. As far as I know, I think it can be sidestepped. And if you whiff 1 plus 2, it has a really low recovery, which means it can be punished really easily. Obviously, if any whiff move can be punished. But this move in general, which is when it's whiffed, it looks like it has a really low recovery rate, so it can be punished. And... It can, it can be ducked as well because it's a uh, high obviously and it can be punished by wild rising move or while standing forward so thank god we're done talking about chucky chucky moving on yeah. so um another move or another move sets that Armor King and AK Share, or most people use when they play Armor King or King, are their grab mix-ups, right? So most of the grabs that uh, Armor King or King players use are the Tombstone Pile Driver and the Giant Swing. So basically, that's that's the Giant Swing, which in in itself, if it's uh, the damage is 60, 
63 I believe uh, no it's 71 it's 71 damage and um, another move is also tombstone pile driver which is really easy to tombstone is as compared to giant swing is really easy to use um, and uh, it can also be buffered the reason why these two moves are used the pros because why these two moves are used the main uses of these two grabs is because it can be buffered I'll show, uh, I'll show what I mean guys so basically uh, if I set set if I set king to card and if I do a capital punishment look at that capital punishment in itself is a really good move and it's uh, plus and block I believe from plus and block you can use various mix-ups from uh, as I showed you Tombstone Power Driver or Giant Swing. Oh, that's a Giant Swing. See that? So you, you can, sky's the limit, try whatever you can, as long as you can buffer moves from, um, you can also buffer move from forward 2 and Capital Punishment as I showed you. So basically two important moves to use or mostly used moves in Tekken are Giant Swing and Tombstone Power Driver. Now we have Asuka. So what makes Asuka stand out in her moveset or in her move list? Basically Asuka's 4-4-3, really good move um, on block, it's minus 9, so it's safe on block. Um, and the pros of 4-4-3 from Asuka is that it's a tracking move, it's safe on block, it's a mid counter hit launcher, that, that's right, it's a mid counter hit launcher. It's like, I'll show you guys, hold on, that's not it. As you can see, it's a mid counter hit launcher. Really good move to use, um, and it high crushes at plus. I think, uh, I think it does high crush. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it does high crush. And the cons, the only cons I can think of of four four three would be its slow recovery on whiff. That's the only con that I can think of. And if you guys have any other, uh, if you know any cons for for Oscar four four three, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to he hear you guys's opinions about everything and yeah that's that's what makes Asuka stand out in her movesets 4-4-3 okay last but not least Horang so what makes Horang a really good character or what makes one of his moves in his move list a really good move to use online I had to think that out because I had no idea why I was going with that. But anyway, so what is one of uh, tra Horang's trademark? His freaking backlash kick. That's right. So basically, backlash kick, backlash kick is plus on block. Uh, so it's also an armored launcher. It's a launcher. Yes, it's an armored launcher. Not only a launcher, but an armored launcher. It's homing. Yes, it is homing, my friends. It is homing. So side step to the left, side step to the right. It can track you down instantly and your head off and plus on block gives you major mix-up potential once, once once it is blocked as well what are the cons of backlash the only con of backlash is that it's a high and it can be ducked that's it you cannot do anything else other than blocking backlash otherwise you get you're in for mix-ups or you're in for a big launch and hella combo damage and yeah that's what that is what makes harangues a really good character to use online or one of his top moves in Tekken basically okay so that's my selection of the top moves used in Tekken 7 till now let me know what you guys think if you agree or disagree with the list let me know in the comments down below uh, speak your mind out and if you guys want me to make more videos related to something like this let me know in the comments as well uh, also a huge shout out to Exeltrix who, who helped me out in putting together putting together the list for this video of all the move list for the characters and such I leave his link to his Instagram in the description below go make sure to give him a follow on his Instagram uh, huge Tekken fan as well plays Jin is a filthy Jin main and that being said you guys are awesome stay safe peace Legends never die when the world is calling you can you hear them scream?